Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise today in support of my amendment to H.R. 21, the Strategic Production Response Act. My amendment would prohibit offshore drilling for oil and gas along the coast of New England and the contiguous waters of the state of New York. In Rhode Island and throughout New England, the health of our coasts is sacred. Rhode Island's coastline supports good paying jobs and economic growth in every city and town across our state. Crucial coastal industries like tourism, commercial and recreational fishing, and boating are really the lifeblood of our communities. According to NOAA, the NOAA Office for Coastal Management, Rhode Island's coastal economy employs more than 467,000 people and contributes $59.3 billion in gross domestic product annually. Rhode Islanders do not want oil and gas drilling just a few miles off our shores, threatening our health, our economic livelihoods, and the way of life. When the former president announced a plan in 2018 to open New England's coastal waters to offshore drilling, I introduced the New England Coastal Protection Act to ban his administration and any future administration from taking this disastrous action. So I am here, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, to ask my colleagues to support this amendment that really, without it, this legislation threatens the economic stability of my constituents and the quality of life of those who live in coastal communities all across the New England coast. Make no mistake, this legislation would have catastrophic effects on the oceans and many of the other invaluable natural resources that we hold so dear and that we're obligated to protect. While my colleagues on the other side of the aisle continue to place the profits of big oil above all else, I oppose these dangerous and short-sighted policies at every turn and am committed to protecting my constituents and the communities that I represent. So I urge my colleagues to support my amendment, and I'd like to reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman, the gentleman is not allowed to reserve under the rule. Oh, then I'll yield back with the gentleman deep gratitude. From Rhode, the gentleman from Rhode Island yields back his time. If the gentleman from North Dakota recognized his point of order. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I withdraw my point of order. The, Gentleman uh, uh, removes his uh, reservation. Gentlemen seek recognition. I do, Mr. Chair. I rise in opposition to the amendment. Jones recognized for five minutes. The legislation we are considering today is a national solution for a national challenge. We cannot arbitrarily remove places from consideration if the best science, technology, and practices can safely and responsibly obtain the energy we need to power our economy. H.R. 21 will strengthen our energy security and stop the Biden administration from raiding our strategic stockpiles. I urge a no on this amendment, and I yield back. Gentlemen from North Dakota.